Alright, hello everyone and welcome to the WWE Discussion. I'm your host in WWE Enthusiast, this is Tuggy Doug, and this is episode 2 of the new WWE Discussion. This won't be the intro for every single episode, but this is the second episode, so we'll keep it running with this one. And in this second episode of the new WWE Discussion, we have NXT July 4th, 2023 edition up on tap. So NXT was celebrating the 4th of July holiday with a big show that would include a career-changing tag match and the return of an old match type in a new form and uh, with that we'll go ahead and get right into the action starting with Mustafa Ali versus Tyler Brate so this was a good match uh, and that was with both men seemingly holding back uh, the action was big but still did not reach that peak level that both men are capable of it seems likely a rematch might happen uh, question is does that happen uh, sooner rather than later does it happen at, uh, yeah, does it happen sooner rather than later? When does that rematch happen? Um, in particular, it might just be that rematch, uh, that rematch might either be after Ali has fully revealed his true colors, or it might even be a catalyst to help him further reveal his true c colors as he continues to tease a bad guy persona. He's playing fair at the moment, but he's still taking opportunities to get ahead. Um, and now it looks like we have, and he did issue this challenge to the camera, this match is not confirmed, but Mustafa Ali versus Wesley at the Great American Bash for the NXT North American title. That seems likely, that seems to be likely what we have coming up there. So you would talk about an Ali versus Bright rematch. It would probably, if it does happen sooner, that would be before Great American Bash. But nonetheless, this title match, um, it's a good, it's a good one for the uh, Great American Bash card. NXT Underground, Eddie Thorpe versus Damon Kemp. So this was better than it had any right to be. And, and, oops, excuse me. NXT continues to innovate on concepts that WWE had previously failed with. This match had heat, and every single second mattered. And while it is a shame that Kemp has had to be in a losing end in this feud, he continues to deliver while elevating some of the brightest stars in NXT. Uh, Gable Stevenson was at ringside in Thorpe's corner. Now, it is quite interesting, and I don't know if there's a reason why, but uh, NXT doesn't want to admit that Stevenson and Kemp are brothers, but uh, given what St Stevenson did after the ring, hopefully we are getting closer to his in-ring debut those suplexes look clean and you know nxt is a is a great place for him to start i know there was a time when he was drafted to monday night raw but that time was a long that time was quite some time ago he was not in this year's draft uh so you know maybe we can get gable stevenson to compete in nxt or maybe we're getting closer to that point be curious to see who he competes against first you know taming camp might be a good first opponent Loser leaves NXT, the Creed Brothers versus the Diet. Um, so these teams have always had chemistry, and this was as good as they have ever looked together. The match ramped up to a fever pitch where it felt possible that Julius was going to win it all on his own. However, it was not to be. Schism apparently has a fifth member, or a fifth root, that will be uh, revealed soon, if there is indeed a, f a fifth person. And perhaps this fifth person is the missing piece that will elevate the group further coming off this win against the Creeds. Uh, it was surprising to see the Creed Brothers leave NXT after not being drafted. And while Julius and Brutus will be a great addition, addition to Raw, either Raw or SmackDown's tag team division, they are heading to the main roster off a loss rather than receiving a statement of their values through the draft. They will also be going about Nile, who was an important part of their presentation. Now, Diamond Apart, that were Diamond Mine, well, it fell apart um, over the years, but it was the Creed's and Nile. Those three always stuck together. Those three grew together. They thrived together. And hopefully, uh, Abby Nile will join them eventually. Um, so, but nonetheless, the Creed's leave NXT. They go to either Raw or SmackDown. It hasn't really doesn't seem like there's a clear direction for them just yet but as i said they can be a great addition to either tag team division i'm not sure which one they go uh, that one i'm not quite sure of and then to close out the show we have elon dragon up versus braun breaker at great american bash again another match that's not confirmed for great american bash but based off what happened 
it's probably going to happen. Um, you know, they didn't cut memorable promos in this segment, but that's okay because this was all about just getting to the fight at the end. And NXT knows that Breaker versus Dragunov is money. This feud has not needed much to feel big. It is very likely, as I said, that will um, happen at the Great American Bash before Breaker, well, the moves on to Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown. Uh, it might make more sense to end the show of a match, but with the Great American Bash coming up, NXT needs to put some work in building that up. And this is the second piece of the puzzle after Ali versus Wes Lee. So, what could be Braun Breaker's last match in NXT is that the Great American Bash versus Elian Dragunov. The question is, does he go out on top, or does he put over Dragunov on his way out? I guess we shall see. So, in conclusion, NXT had booked two fine weeks of television with Gold Rush. However, the follow-up to Gold Rush, it just wasn't going to be able to compare. Um, this was back to back to the usual NXT television with backstage segments and vignettes galore. Uh, matches being shorter than they should have been. Um, however, Creed's versus Dyad, Thorpe versus Camp, and Ali versus Bright certainly deliver on the promise of their build. The build to the Great American Bash is starting strong. Ali versus Lee and Breaker versus Dragonov might as well be set. Um, and it looks likely, and it looks like we might have Hayes versus Balor for the NXT title as well. It will be up to the subsequent weeks to set up the big matches, or set up big matches for the women's and tag team divisions. The arrest story with Tony D'Angelo um, appears to be nearing its conclusion, which is good because that story's kind of dragged on long enough. Uh, the New Luck Women's Division is still forming around Tiffany Stratton, uh, Roxanne Perez vs. Player Davenport, and Lyra Valkyria vs. JC Jane. Those matches could have been better. Uh, yeah, those, they, they could have been better. Uh, Dolan, Gigi Dolan vs. Keanu James. Not the most exciting television. Uh, Thea Hale and Abby Nile might be poised to rise. Uh, I know Hale or Nile's got a match against Stratton next week. So NXT continues to have a solid foundation. Yeah, NXT has a solid foundation, even while more stars continue to leave for Raw or SmackDown, and even while stars from Raw or SmackDown or even free agents uh, basically make make their way to uh, NXT and it is up to those remaining in NXT to raise their game and let's be honest they, they, do, they do that no issues and I would expect them to raise their game and NXT is going to do to deliver another hit of a premium live event in the Great American Bash and with that we'll go on and wrap up this episode of the discussion if you enjoyed this episode be sure to hit that like button down below